Hey, my YouTube family. Miss D is back, y'all. I hope y'all miss me. I miss y'all, too. I had some personal things in my life that I needed to take care of. But I'm glad to be back. Today, we're going to be cooking a salmon, salmon cakes. with. Um, we're going to have crawfish, and we're going to have shrimp with yellow rice and broccoli. That should be really good. And I got a surprise for y'all for dessert. A dessert that's very simple and very easy, you know, to do. But anyway, I hope y'all been okay. We've been having a lot going on in this world, you know, with the virus and everything. I hope everybody is safe. I hope everybody is doing fine. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started um, with our cooking. Cooking on a budget, essential New Orleans. That's right. That's the name of my show, Essential New Orleans. Cooking on a budget. That's who I am, Miss D. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. But first, <clears throat> I'm not gonna be showing my face as much, y'all, because I just want y'all to see what I'm gonna be doing in terms of cooking, and and what I be, you know, putting in my, what the ingredients I be using, and how I go about, you know, making everything come out just right. But first, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna get, uh, I'm gonna cook some yellow rice, y'all. I'm gonna cook some yellow rice. So I have about a cup and a half of yellow rice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the yellow rice in there. I have a cup, a little over a cup of yellow rice. And we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And I'm gonna use my knife to get that, get everything on. I thought I'd dry my measuring cup all the way, but I guess I didn't, y'all. So this is live cooking, so I don't edit. Whatever it is, what it is. So, all right, I got got my yellow rice in here. I'm going to add some butter. My yellow rice. You can add how much butter you want, cause butter is so delicious. But I'm not going to be showing my face too much. Like I said, I I just want you to see what I what how I started off and what I was doing with the yellow rice. I'm going to cook the yellow rice in a microwave. I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes. So you have to just keep an eye on it. You know, I think the microwave is easier for some people because some people just not good with cooking on the stove. So I try to make my meals. I try to comp make my meals. Um, try to make them easy for my for my cooking on the budget family so that. They don't have to worry about nothing catching on fire, you know what I mean? Especially for young people. So this show is for young people and for um, anybody who want to watch it. So I hope you enjoy it. And you know what? This is a good Saturday dinner, Saturday dinner, and date night dinner. If you're going on a date and you want to, well, if you want to impress your date, I should say, you should make this. Stay, go, go, run to the grocery store and you should go home and cook this. I think you'll be very pleased. So let me go ahead and put this in the microwave 30 minutes. Okay, there we go. Now, I have one can of salmon. Now, when you, that's right, it's this canned salmon, it's not fresh salmon. I, I, didn't, I don't have time to to, to cook no fresh salmon because it's so expensive. So I think, you know, salmon in the can is very good. It has a lot of flavor. You, when you first open it, make sure you wash your cans. Make sure you wash everything before you cook because people touch everything and everything is contaminated. And then you go back home and don't, and forget to wash it and you open it up and then you, you know, any, so anyway, make sure that you got one can of salmon and pour all the juices off. There's a few bones in here, but you know, you know, they're so soft that like it's not even important. You want you won't get choked. Not unless I, I don't know. I don't know how you would choke on this, but anyway, I just take my salmon and just pull it apart a little bit because it's you know it's in a can. So now once you do all of that, then you have your crawfish. I mean, you could cut your crawfish up. It depends. It depends on how you like it. So I'm just going to add my crawfish to my salmon. I didn't feel like eating too much crawfish. I only got like a, about a, about a little less than a quarter of a cup. Then I have my I have my shrimp. But I'm going to cut these shrimp up because they're a little too big to go in my salmon. Now some people, some people like them like that. You know, it depends. It depends on you, you know. 
that's your thing. So when you cook in, you cook how you want to cook. You know, I have no problem with that. So I'm just gonna cut them like I said. I ain't, you know, I'm not really too much, too much crawfish, too much of a crawfish person. I think that's about enough shrimp. Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of more. What you think? Yeah, I think I'll do a couple of more. Now, you see how, see how nice these are, nice and big these shrimp are? Okay, now, I have my shrimp in here, I have my <coughs> crawfish, and I have my salmon. So I'm just gonna mix it together a little bit with my hands. Then I'm gonna take my seasoning. I have um, some bell pepper. Have a little bell pepper, have some garlic, about two cloves of garlic, and I have uh, some onion. And you're gonna put all that in here. And just mix this up too, mix it up with your hand. And I'm gonna add a little, um, green onion. And guess what? I got to, uh, I'm gonna add two eggs. So let me get those eggs out the fridge. Cause you can't keep eggs on a, you know, can't keep eggs out too long. So let me go ahead and get that. So I have two large eggs. One and two. Then I'm gonna add a little breadcrumb to my mixture. You can add a little bit at a time. It depends, a quarter of a cup. It depends on your liking. A little fit, a little lemon juice, just a little bit. And then you go ahead and you wanna mix that up like that with your hands. You can put on gloves if you want. I mean, that's up to you. It really is. I like to mix mine up by my hands because my hands are very clean. But anyway, that's not that's neither here nor there. You know, it depends on your cooking style, how you want to do things. That's your choice. You know, <clears throat> whatever you do in your kitchen, that's on you. You know, everybody's cooking style is different. You know, so, I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best cook. My, my, my cooking style may not be suitable for you. Well, my mama, you might say, well, my mama or my daddy showed me how to do this different. Or, um, or sometimes she don't measure. Well, I try to be as I try to measure and try to be as accurate as I can um, with with the ingredients, you know. But trial and error is how I do it. When I was when I was learning, uh, I taught myself trial and error. But I try to I try to sit down and write the ingredients and how much measure. So I put a little bit more breadcrumbs because it was just a little bit too moist. So with the breadcrumbs. What it does, it absorbs the moisture because you don't want it too wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up again. Now, as you can see, it's, it's getting a little dry. It's not as moist as it was. It's not as moist as it was. It's looking, it look really good. Then I'm gonna take a little flour and I'm gonna sprinkle a little flour in there as well. And that's gonna kind of coagulate it, so to speak, to hold it together. But of course you have to form um, the patties. So the, that's what I call them, uh, you know, um, salmon cakes. So let me wipe my hands, turn my water up because we're gonna have some, we're gonna have broccoli uh, <clears throat> to go with our salmon cakes. We're gonna have some broccoli. Now, 
I'm going to take a little dill weed. I usually take my, I usually use dill weed and put it on my fish, but I'm going to sprinkle a little bit. I like dill weed. It has a, it has a very good flavor. At least it, it enhances the flavor of the, of the uh, food that's the seafood that you're cooking. I should say. I got a little time, just a little time, a sprinkle of time. And I, what I like about these bottles, especially for uh, people who, you know, who never cooked before. You know, you could kind of see, oh, that's, that's not that's not enough, or oh, that's enough because you sprinkling it because it has the holes on top. I'm using parsley now. I would say about a, about a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of parsley. Then I'm going to take a little, oh, that's not that. I thought that was my garlic powder, but that's onion powder. I don't want onion powder today. See, onion powder and garlic powder look just alike if you don't look at it. But I got like, some garlic powder. I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. That's about a, another about a teaspoon. I got some accent. About a teaspoon as well. Black pepper. About a quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm going to, I'm thinking about using my soul seasoning today. Yeah. I'm going to use this today, about a teaspoon of my soul seasoning, a little cilantro, it's another very delicious herb, it enhances the flavor of your food. I like a lot of herbs y'all, so if y'all see me be, she be cooking with some herbs, you know, that's because that's what she enjoys. So I got my flour, I got my, I'm sorry, I got my flour, I got my broccoli right here, so I just, I washed it real good, I let it soak a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in my hot water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up really good and <clears throat> so that we can go ahead and put this in a hot grease. Yep, I'm gonna we're gonna fly we're gonna fry our salmon cakes in some canola oil. That's what we're gonna be using today. I use I use canola oil a lot because canola oil is very healthy for you, especially if you have cholesterol problems like moi. But I've been, I've been um, really trying to eat, I've been really trying to eat healthy. You know, I've been exercising. Yeah, I've been exercising, y'all. I know that's hard to believe, huh? But I've been, <laughs> I'm just playing. But I've been exercising and trying to keep myself together and keep myself um, in shape, trying to stay here, trying to be here for an, another couple of days or another day or two or whatever, how long God want me here. But anyway, I mixed all, I mixed everything together. I got um, all my ingredients in here. Now I'm gonna get a pan and I'm gonna take this pan, put my flour, put my flour in it. Then you could use either half a cup. It depends on how many you're gonna make. So about a, it's about a half a cup of flour. And I'm gonna take my salmon, my salmon cakes like this. And I'm going to squeeze them together like that to make sure that all the ingredients stay in. I think I can put a little bit more. Huh? I think that's good. I think that's a good size. See, see, one can. Let me tell you something. One can of salmon goes. It, it, I swear, you can make up to eight, ten patties. If you make them this size, oh yeah. You know, salmon is very good for you. It's, it's, it has such high omega-3. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just lay it down on my little. I'm just going to sit it here on my, um, my little tray. And I'm just going to put my flour over there for a minute so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my grease on. I, now I got it. I put my canola oil in the skillet. Well, not, I'm sorry, that's not canola oil. Olive oil. I put my olive oil in the skillet, and that's what I like to use too. I just I decided not to use that uh, canola oil today. I wasn't in the mood for it. I just wanted to keep everything very light. So I got about three quarter cups of um, olive oil. And I'm gonna let my skillet go ahead and get hot. 
and then I'm going to take my salmon and I'm going to um, put it in the flour mixture and put it in the flour because it's just flour. I didn't I didn't put anything else in it because I didn't want all that seasoning because I can't have I really can't have all that seasoning. I'm not supposed to, but you know we. Everybody, that's why I say everybody cooks different. If you could put, you can go ahead and season your flour. That's that's on you. You know, that's how you cook. And you, a lot of people like a lot of a lot of flavor. You know, I can't have a lot of salt. But I try to make the food as flavor flavorful as possible. You know, so. And you know what I was thinking too, y'all? Like you can make like salmon, like these little small, so you can get like a little melon ball maker. And you can um, scoop these in a little melon shaper and, and then roll them in like a little ball and then um, you can drop them in hot grease. What, what you think? I think that would be good. That would be good. So my my rice is cooking. My rice is still cooking. Ooh, it's really bubbling. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take a minute after I make about three or about four or five of those because I got a lot left. Like I say, I'm making them a little bigger than um, than usual, but I don't have a, I don't have any people coming over today, so it's just gonna be me. And so I have some for my dinner and maybe and maybe I'm maybe I might cook tomorrow or may not cook tomorrow. But anyway, that's a nice size. I mean you could so, let me tell you salmon is not salmon salmon is only about a dollar y'all. A dollar can. You can get two cans and you could you could have like a seafood party. You could do what I'm doing. Either you could just have the salmon with just the shrimp. Um you know that's totally up to you. And you can you can uh, put some, cook some yellow rice. Yellow rice is not expensive either. You can get a bag of yellow rice for a dollar. But anyway, <clears throat> I got five salmon cakes. And I'm, I'm gonna let my I'm gonna let my uh, flour get. I mean my grease get hot. I'm sorry. Get my grease get hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, put them in some put them in a little flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and fry. So let me let me. Uh, Check on my yellow rice. See how that's coming along, y'all. I think. My flour, if you want to know how, if you want to test your grease and make sure it's hot, you just sprinkle a little flour on it. A little flour in it. It's not quite ready yet, even though, like, so my, I, I used some olive oil that I already had, and maybe I might have poured some of the excess stuff in it. But always use your fresh olive oil, always use fresh grease if you want to, but I don't, I don't waste nothing, so it is what it is. This is live, I don't edit my stuff like I said, so. Uh, let me get some paper towels. Because always make sure you got your paper towels in your um, in your little tray area, in your little tray so that when you finish frying your items, your foods, you can drain the grease. You know, you can drain the grease. So I'm gonna sit this here in my 
that broccoli is coming along real nice. Coming along real nice. And it's not ready to come out because it's still a little tough. But you know, it doesn't have to be that tender. It depends on how you want it, okay? All right. So let me take another look. All right. I think that is I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and drench my salmon cake and my flour. And then you don't you want to you don't want you want to take some of the excess flour off by this is what I do go left and right back and forth back and forth to keep my shape you know keeping my shape keeping it molded this is what I do go back and forth but I'm still molding my patty because I'm trying to keep the shape but you don't want to you don't want a, a whole lot of flour because you want it light and crispy and airy and it still would get that. Now watch, look at that. <clears throat> Keep, you gotta shake some of the flour off. Keep your fingers apart at the bottom like this. And see, when I'm moving it around, see how some of the flour come out? But I just want you to see. I need a little bit more on top. But you don't want it heavily coated in flour. You, you don't want that. I'm gonna put one more in here. Yeah, Miss D, she back, y'all, and I'm still cooking with my skillets. That's what I prefer, you know. Some people prefer pots, you know, like pots and things of that nature. I like the skillet, like I always say. So, I'm gonna put one more in here. Like I say, this is how I do it. I go back and forth, go back and forth, sh shake some of that flour, excess flour off. You know, you know everybody cooks different, like I say. But if you know, if you're watching my show, you know, and you enjoy my show, you know, subscribe to my show. I appreciate it. So we have two more, but I'm not going to fry those right now. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the side. This on the side and then show y'all the outcome of it. So let me wash my hands, y'all. Take a little wash my hands. I know I've, I've been I know I've been gone a little a minute like the like the like the kids say I've been gone a minute they so there's something else with their language but you know young people but anyway um I've been gone I've been gone for a minute you know I had some personal things in my life but I got a thousand thousand views y'all it been a, it's been a long it's been a long time, you know, but I got a, I got a thousand views. So I'm so happy. I'm excited to have a thousand views. I really am. I, I couldn't believe it when, when I was looking at my uh, channel and I said, yes, I said it finally happened. It took a while, but, uh, but it happened. I got a thousand views. I'm so appreciative, so happy. So let me check on the yellow rice again. So let me show you how my yellow rice is coming along, y'all. You see, when you're cooking yellow rice, you don't you, you want to cook all that water out of it. That's why I like to cook it in the microwave. But it doesn't matter if you cook it on the microwave or the stove. Make sure all that water is out of it. You see? So it's almost done. So I'm going to put it back in there for um, nine more minutes or, or less. Nine minutes or less. So I say, I say, I'll, I'll tell all the water is all. That's, that's how I'm going to cook it. I ain't going to be no in all that fancy stuff because that ain't me, y'all. I'm just, I'm just keeping real. A lot of times I just cook 
um, I cook how I know and how I know it's going to turn out. Okay, I, ha I have no exact signs or anything like that. I just cook. Okay, some people do, but but I don't. So I'm not going to put up here. Well, we're going to use um, three quarter cups of water and then we're going to use this and that. No, I don't do all that shit. No, I don't do all that. I don't do all that. I, I'm just me, y'all. Now that's coming, that's, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. I'm about to turn it over, cause it's nice and brown. So when you turn it, when you turn it over, you know, be careful, you don't break it. So I hold it like this and turn it over easily, easily. Yeah, that's so beautiful. It's coming along. I'm on, I'm on thing. This, this one not ready yet because that was the last one that I put in. So you want to make sure that it browns on both sides. When you first put it in in grease, let it cook and then raise it up a little bit to see if it's brown. If you see it's brown around the edges, go ahead and turn it over. It's better to use something that has a grip so that instead of using a spatula, because you might burn your hand, especially if you're not a good cook. You know, but I just want you to be careful. I don't want you to burn yourself. You know, just take your time and just flip it over. You, I use these. I use these. So, that's what I do. All right. So my yellow rice is almost done. My, um, my broccoli. My broccoli is done. Nice and tender. But I tell you, that hot water don't play. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my, my water off my broccoli. Once you pour all that water off your broccoli, this side should look. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit it right here for a minute. Let me see how my I'm gonna turn this one over. Okay. Oh, that's looking good, y'all. Yep. I'm gonna um take my um take my my butter that I had left and I'm going to put it in here on my broccoli and I'm going to go ahead and season my broccoli with some salt and some pepper and my cheese. So let me go ahead and stir this up. I'm going to stir it up and then I'm going to put it back on the stove and let it and let the cheese melt. So I want it very cheesy. I love cheese on broccoli. You like cheese on broccoli? <laughs> I'm going to sit it up here. I'm going to load my fire. I put it on number three. I don't know if your your stove have, have numbers on it, but I put it on number three. Okay. Nah, my yellow rice is done. Let me show you. This is the way yellow rice is supposed to be. It, it should be, the, all of the rice grain should be whole. It should not be split or broke, broken in, in half. All the water and all the moisture is out. You see how beautiful that is? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks really good. I'm just gonna sit this back into, the, into my microwave. You can cook every, you can cook a lot of things in a microwave, so don't get it twisted. I'm telling y'all, telling y'all, you can do a lot in a microwave. I cook all my rice in a, every I use I cook brown rice in a microwave. I cook yellow rice in a microwave. I cook um my white rice for 15 minutes, and I cook my brown rice for 25 minutes, and it always comes out good. Now. 
Let me turn over my salmon cakes again because I like them golden brown. I'm about to take those off. But everything is looking so beautiful. I'm telling you. Let me sit all my dirty dishes on the side so you can see when I get ready to plate it, how everything turned out, you know. I'm not, let me tell you something, okay. I'm, I'm not the best cook, but I, I try to show you how to save time. I try to show you how to save money. I mean, the shrimp was $5.44 a bag. Got those from Walmart. Salmon cake, salmon in a can, nine, 90 cents. Okay, yellow rice, a dollar a bag. Okay, so everything that I have here is under five bucks. So that's why I like to cook on a budget because money, people don't have money. I mean, maybe maybe we might have a little bit now, but no, I'm just joking. But. A lot of people don't have money. People have children that they have to feed. People have bills. And I'm, and I'm a thoughtful person in terms of things like that. And I try to make sure that I accommodate. I accommodate, you know, everyone. Sometimes sometime I, I can't get the ingredients um, for cheap. Sometimes I have to spend a little bit more money. But most of but my show is, is a... Um, the key points is you can feed your family no matter what. You don't have to take a lot of money to feed your family. It's all in thought out, it's a thought out process. Because if you're gonna to go to the store that particular day, you think about what you're gonna cook so that the meal the meal can go a long way. If you got eight people that you need to cook for, man, you ain't saying nothing. You can get that, you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to start plating my food. I got me some nice yellow Dollar Tree plates. I'm gonna take out and turn my salmon cakes over one more time. And I'm gonna take them out and plate them. Now when I get finished with this grease, I'm gonna throw it away because there's nothing I can do with it, nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start plating them. I don't have, I'm just, I'm just, I don't have, I don't have any fancy, fancy utensils or none of that stuff because I, I just be cooking. I don't be thinking about all that. As long as I can get the food cooked and it's fresh and it's clean, that's my main, that's my main purpose. I hope I can help, I hope I help people. That's my whole purpose of this show. It's not just about me getting views. I just want you to, to see that what I'm doing it's, it, you know, it has a purpose, and I hope that you enjoy my content. I hope you enjoy my sense of humor sometimes. It's a little quirky, because I'm a quirky person, and, so, and I'm a serious person. I'm a no-nonsense person, but I have a good heart. So I got my yellow rice. I'm going to take my, turn my stove off, take out my salmon cakes. I got three. They, they're big, too, y'all. That's why I was saying you can you can you can feed a family of eight to ten people. You really can. I got my broccoli. I'm about to plate it up. That's a good dinner. That's a really good dinner. You know, the cheese is like, you could go to the deli, you could get you a dollar worth of cheese, really. Or you could get how much cheese you want, but I'm just trying to prove a point. You know, cooking on the budget, budget is very, it's very essential. And that's why I call my show Essential New Orleans, because saving money is always, is always a key factor in everything. So, <clears throat> hey, I hope you can see, I'm doing my best, y'all. So I have my yellow rice. I don't, you know, I don't know why I did that. I have my yellow rice. I have my broccoli. And what did I do with my phone? Okay, that's all right. Go there, go. And I have my salmon cakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a plate. I'm 
and I'm about to go ahead and taste taste this. And I know you wish, mm, I wish that was mine. So, got my, got my food, I'm so grateful. Thank God for it. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it now. I got my broccoli, let's see. Mmm. Let me get some of this yellow rice, y'all. Let me get some of this yellow rice. Mmm. Mm. That's some good yellow rice. I cook it perfect all the time. I really do. Now, we're gonna get to the, to the, to the, to the main thing. I got my, Look at that, y'all. Got my salmon cake. See how, let me show you. Look at that. Look. See how, see how perfectly cooked it is? Your fire has to be just right. You can't cook it fast because it has to cook on the inside as well as the outside. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so good. Oh my God. I'm so flaky. Look at that. Can you believe it? Listen, this is so good. Broccoli, a dollar bag. But this was the fresh broccoli, so it doesn't matter. My daughter brought this. My daughter brought the broccoli. She brought the fresh broccoli. That's what she wanted. You could use all. You could use a dollar bag of broccoli. Got yellow rice, one dollar bag. Salmon, a dollar can. You could get the shrimp, five dollars from Walmart. You could get the where well, the crawfish costs a little bit more. But that's what I'm saying. But overall, if you can't if you can't afford certain things, you don't need them. Dollar Tree sell eggs a dollar. You got um, you got flour, a dollar. I mean, everything that you possibly need. Everything you possibly need, you need to, to have a nice, balanced meal. I think the children really would enjoy these salmon cakes, just like I know adults would. And sometimes get in the kitchen with your kids, you know, and let them let them explore and try to see what's going on in their mind in terms of cooking. Cause sometimes children are gifted with ideas. But all you have to do, mommy, dad, grandmother, sit down and plan your meal. Sit down and plan your meal. I, I know everything's gonna turn out just right. It's been a blessing to see you. But I'm gonna be back in a little bit because I have a another I have a surprise for you in terms of desserts. Cause I didn't want, I don't like my videos too long cause I know people attention span is short like mine. <laughs> this is Miss D, Essential New Orleans, cooking on a budget. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, go ahead on the comment. If you want to subscribe, okay. If not, okay, but I thank you for watching my show. Till next time, God bless.